The Nur anti-ship cruise missile is one of the first Iranian-made cruise missiles developed based on a joint project inspired by Chinese-made C-802. In standard mode, the missile has about 120 kilometers. Its length is 39.6 meters, of which 24.1 meters are related to the primary engine. The rocket has a diameter of 36 centimeters, which uses a turbojet engine and liquid fuel. The total weight of the missile is 715 kilograms, and its warhead weight is 165 kilograms. The anti-ship missile is accelerated to launch from vessels or coastal platforms with an initial solid fuel rocket booster. After detaching these propellants, it continues on its way with a turbojet engine whose air intake is located below the fuselage and between the lower legs. The rocket accelerates from 0 to Mach 0.9 in a matter of seconds. When the launch engine runs out of fuel, it detaches from the rocket and the turbojet engine starts. The missile flies at an altitude of 20 to 30 meters above sea level at a speed of Mach 0.9 and is guided by autopilot and a radio supersonic. When the missile reaches the final phase of flight, it switches to radar guidance to find the target. When locked on the target, it reduces its altitude to 5 to 7 meters above the water level, a few kilometers from the target. However, in the final phase of the flight, the missile may automatically perform other maneuvers to reduce the target defense ability system's ability to destroy the missile. The missile dives into the aligned water surface with the ship to inflict the most damage as it approaches the target. The probability of the missile hitting the target is estimated at 98%. Over the years, various newer anti-ship missiles, including its internal radar, have also been changed and upgraded, and in the optimized type of the missile, its range has increased to 170 kilometers. Outstanding features include having a small reflectivity radar with a range of 130 kilometers, flying at an altitude of 5 to 7 meters above sea level near the target, and is equipped with a guidance system with a strong anti-interference capability. The efficiency of the missile in practice and the target ship has very little chance of intercepting, confronting, and destroying it. The body of the missile is narrow and elongated, and its nose is oval. There are four delta-shaped small wings on the front. There are four small control wings and four small stabilizing wings on the tail. The radar range of the missile is 130 kilometers. In addition to guidance radar, the newer missile is equipped with a radio ultrasonic detector and autopilot. Its precision radio detector allows the missile to hold the missile at the lowest altitude above sea level. Examples of the missile include the American Harpoon anti-ship missile and the French Exocet anti-ship missile. The difference that the range of the newer missile is many times longer. The missile's guidance system is based on an inertial navigation system, INS, an active internal radar, and its flight speed in the air is Mach 0 0.9 or 1100 km per hour at about 300 meters per second. The flight altitude of the missile is 20 to 30 meters above sea level. Iranian defense specialists succeeded in designing and producing 2031 radar for use in the newer missile system. The radar can search the sea areas and detect enemy vessels up to a distance of 210 kilometers, displaying the system's tactical status, the status of the missile, information transfer, and simultaneous fire control of four missile launch platforms. This missile can launch from aircraft, surface vessels, submarines, transport, and vehicles. It is considered one of the best anti-ship missiles in accuracy, destruction, and speed and has fired successfully in various exercises. Thunder-class ships, Sina, Binder-class cargo ships, Alvind and Jamron-class destroyers, BH-7 hovercrafts, IRGC Mi-17 helicopters, and F-4 Phantom fighter jets, including IRGC and Army naval equipment, as well as Army forces from using these missiles.
IRGCMI-17 helicopters are capable of carrying and launching two of these missiles. Meanwhile, during the exercises, the F-4 bombers were able to carry and fire the missile successfully. Thus, the Iranian Air Force's capability to carry out attacks against enemy vessels in the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman has increased significantly.